The Bronto, written and read by Jonathan Shipton. It was hot. It was boiling. I was thirsty as a frog. It was tea time and my tummy was as hollow as a log. I went to the kitchen and opened the door, but there was nothing inside. Nothing at all. No food for me or my big brontosaur. Nothing to eat, called my dad. Are you sure? So we wrote a quick list and we raced to the store, dad and me and our bags and my big brontosaur. We found iceberg of lettuce, bananas and greens. We got milk and tomatoes and pasta and beans. We bought toothpaste with stripes and some flakes for my fishes. We got cans for the cat and bubbles for dishes. And some lovely warm bread and a huge chunk of cheese. Then Dad got exhausted, so we had to have tea. But suddenly... I noticed, with a terrible roar, that my big Brontosaurus wasn't there any more. Has anyone seen my big Brontosaur? Not me, said the waitress, banging the door. Not me, said the cleaner, mopping the floor. Not me, said the fruit girl, scratching her head. Nor me, said the baker, stacking up bread. Not me, said the chemist, spraying her hair. Then we ran to the deli, but he still wasn't there. We searched in the car park, we shouted and called, but no one had spotted a lost brontosaur. They were all really sorry, but they couldn't do more. So we walked slowly home, just me and my dad. We didn't say much, just carried our bags. We walked up the path, put the key in the door, and guess who I found fast asleep on the floor?